if a police is stationed into a volatile area and he never made an arrest, never discharged his firearm, nor in any type of confrontation with any citizen, good or bad, makes him a good police officer. That could also make him a bad officer and incompetent of his duty. All right, because still in the volatile community, when the people of that community see as a good cop, a don't-to-hurt cop, a cop who understand and describe every other cop as being bad, don't give a bad gunshot a fire from you turn up, the fire sees, but any other police dear put them foot down there, straight shoot out, but you can walk on there with all your firearm sling. That is something for the rest of the police them to think about. As police officers in the street with your co-worker, doing frontline duty, observe the actions of your co-worker. Observe how you interact with people and not just sit comfortable as the driver or the observer. I know every police are police. There are criminals that bear the ID and wears the uniform. And every police join the work for the right reasons. Some are there for revenge. And their revenge is not only for the criminals, some is for the very same police who did them wrong while they were walking out there as a civilian. Now them get the work and uniform done with them gun. If you know me know, and I'm sitting upon the vehicle be observer, I would have run. You realize that there are police in the force that doesn't even worry about promotions. You just want to know some police. Promotions come with authority and money. Nothing else matters to them. It's really hard for a good cop into a, vol- a volunteer area and say never bust him gun, never arrest, never have no confrontation. That means, say, him see no evil and hear no evil and don't care which part him there and say people need help or in a problem him not going to try to stop and try to even give an helping hand especially say my put him life upon the line make sure say if a police into an area like Olympic Garden, Rima, Warwick Hill, Rockfort and so on and so forth. That police officer must have been a some type of confrontation, something it can't just smooth so. At least when I say once he might do him duty, now nah, just smooth so. Especially if you work on the road. The only way you escape with that way there, unless you see no evil, hear no evil, you mind your own business, and that is not doing your lawful duty that more up on the corruption side and if you examine that type of behavior that will never ever make you be a good cop in most cases the ones who you may call troublemaker if you the proper investigation are you well in tune you will see that maybe he's the one that is the good cop he's only called troublemaker because he's always intervening and mashing down crime plans making arrests so because people cannot get to them criminal business in peace they may seem as a troublemaker as a cop if everyone is against you it no look good and if everyone is with you something right some will be with you and some will be against you so be careful what you call a good cop now i'll ask you what's the definition of a good cop and what's the definition of a bad cop talk to you now